Hello friends, welcome back. In this tutorial, we will study about collision resolution in hashing. Right. In previous tutorial, we have studied about hashing. So in this tutorial, we will study about collision resolution. Right. Now see, sometimes what happens uh, that the two keys have same hash value for a particular hash function. Right. Then this situation is called collision. Right. Suppose we are going to store a record with key k in memory, right? But the hash address for key k is already occupied by some other key's record, right? This happens when two keys have same hash value, right? And uh, this situation is called collision, right? Now, for example, Suppose there is a hash function h and it is defined by hk is equal to k mod 10, right? Where k is a key, right? Now, it is the definition of a hash function h, right? Now, when key is 11, right? Then the hash value of this key 11 will be 11 mod 10 right and it is equal to 1 right because uh, when we divide 11 by 10 we will get the remainder 1 right similarly the hash value of uh, key 21 for this hash function h will also be 1 because when we divide 21 by 10 we will get a remainder 1 right so here these two keys 11 and 21 they have same hash value that is 1 for this hash function h right so this situation is called collision right now there is an important term which is associated with collision and it is load factor right what is load factor it is the ratio of total number of keys to the total number of hash addresses generated by a hash function right here the load factor is lambda and lambda is equal to n upon m right here load factor is lambda and lambda is equal to n upon m right where n is the total number of keys and here m is the number of hash addresses generated by hash function right now one way of resolving collision is linear cropping Right, now see what happens in linear propping. Now suppose we have to add a new record R with key K to the memory table T. Right, now the hash value of key K is H. Right, here H is the hash function. Now suppose the hash address H is already occupied. Right, this hash address H is already occupied now in linear propping we will assign record r to the first available location following memory location with hash address h right uh, to add record r in this table we will linearly search the locations with hash addresses h right here h is occupied then we will check the location with the hash address h plus 1 right if it is also occupied then we will search the memory location with hash address h plus 2 right and so on right here we have assumed that the table t is with m locations and it is circular right so that uh, the location with hash address 1 right comes after the location with hash address m right so here what will we do if uh, the memory location with hash address h is occupied right then what will we do to add the record r with key k right we will search linearly these hash addresses h plus 1 h plus 2 and so on right 
we will add record R to the first available location following memory location with hash address H. Right. Now, another method is quadratic probing. Right. It is a, another method for resolving collision. Right. In quadratic probing, to add a record with key K having hash value H. Instead of searching the locations with the addresses with hash addresses H, H plus 1, H plus 2 and so on. We search the locations with addresses H, H plus 1, H plus 4, H plus 9, H plus 16 so on up to H plus I square and so on. Right. Another technique for resolving collision is chaining. Right. Now see what happens in chaining. In this method, all those keys whose have same hash value. Right. In this method, all those keys who have same hash values, their records are stored in a linked list. And pointed to the head of this linked list is stored at the hash address of these keys in table P. Right. Now, for example, suppose H is a hash function, right? And uh, the keys K1, K2 and K3, they have same hash value H, right? Now, then the records with keys K1, K2 and K3 are put in a linked list. And pointer to the head of this linked list is stored at hash address H in table T. Right. So this method of uh, resolving the collision is called chaining.